pair of jeans, a shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't going back. It doesn't matter if it's true. I've got a feeling love will give us what we like. The world is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. And if it's not enough, I want to see the stuff the world has got in store. Oh, I want to take it all in, I'm falling. The cityscape by night, want to catch in my photos. Where you go, every corner twice as bright. There'll be my treasures forever. When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights. The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights. a year away like the seconds the beginning and the end uh, but if in time it's yesterday your picture's gonna bring it home to me again the world is waiting up the world is waiting half a step beyond our door oh, and if it's not enough See the stuff the world has got in store I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights Yay, all right, there we are. What's going on, guys? Hello, hello for a little Friday night trucking. Hope you guys, you know, in in, uh, in in all seriousness and reality, like, I actually do, like, think a lot about the music we play. <laughs> I know that seems kind of weird, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, I actually, I actually do think quite a bit about what we play. <laughs> oh, man. Zach, what's up? Timbo, what's up? Sporting some new badges. You guys are all stars. And I'm just kidding. What's up, Wonder? Good to see you, man. Thunderwolf, good to see you. B9 Bot, Cobra, good to see you, man. Rashi, uh, hello, everybody from Germany. All right, man, all the way from uh, Bavaria, Deutschland. Guten Tag, Rashi. Hope you're doing well, man. Lando Calrissian. What's going on, man? How are you? Star Wars reference. <clears throat> the Lando, good to see you, man. Andrew M., what's up? Yeah, I know. I know, I actually had some other things. I actually meant to do this before, and I, did, I didn't make it. So I decided, you know, hey, I, I better make this kind of happen tonight for, uh, you know, just because I wouldn't get a big, a big, huge chance to do this later on. You know, it'd be another, like, four days till we actually have, like, a big-time big, big -time stream. So uh, what's up, Psycho? You can see me and Mark as well. Brent, Lil Barky, what's up, buddy? Tiny Killer, hello, Trip J. What's up, Sir Kells? What's up? How are you, buddy? Bull Hauler, how are you, man? We ain't hauling bulls tonight. We are going to haul a bunch of dirt. <laughs> well, and anything else that fits in the big old, uh, you know. Jason, what's up, man? Gary Cornwell, good to see you. Man, all these guys in green, man. Thank you, guys. Devious as well, man. Appreciate y'all. Uh, Patrick D. Captain G. Others guys sponsor. Uh, and and, and a, good, a good many of them have been sponsoring for a long time. So uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, as always, man. Mr. Sweet, what's up, man? Good to see you there, Ozzy Dave. Hello, Liam. Drell Jones, what's up, Outdoor Sean? How are you, Caveman the Frist? What's up, Corinthians? Kathy Wells, hello. Hello for me and the boyfriend, Devin. What's up, Kathy and Devin? Hope you all are doing well. Freightliner fan, what's up, Burke Gaming Trip? Jay, what's up? Well, I don't know that I'm the best YouTuber. I'm just, I'm just your favorite. <laughs> what's up, Z-Pain? How are you, man? Hope you're doing well. 
Hey, look at there. We got a Cobra. Whoa. All right, man. Cobra Gaming Creations. Heck yeah, man. Nice $50 donation to get things cranking tonight and live. Now, I have to shout out Chris, uh, a.k.a. Big Money, a.k.a. Chris, a.k.a. Money, a.k.a. all his CB handles and titles. Uh, he started us off the night with 10. So, thank you there, Cobra. Appreciate it. I thought... I think that was my old subscriber one. So I look up and I'm like, oh, thanks for subbing. And then it's like a money one. So it's a nice surprise whenever I see like somebody's donated some money. I'm like, hey, all right, cool. So thanks, man. Appreciate that. Zach, what's up, man? Good to see you. They got no idea what these other songs, if they're any good or not. So we're on our own right now. Oh, actually, our, our countdown's done. I don't know if I even did that. So yes, Corinthians, we, we will be driving a Peter built. Although this is not Gramps Peter. We'll tell you what, this is a newly, uh, new fangled, uh, new age custom lowered stretched rubber band tires, which everybody's going to hate, but you're going to like it with the trailers because it's completely a meme, uh, but it, it's a meme that works. So, th what's up, Tom? Hey, man. Seven to Canadian dollars. Quick question. How do uh, I coast an ATS because when I'm off the gas pedal, it comes to a complete stop? Interesting. I am going to tell you what setting to choose or to watch one to um, actually fit on that one. So. Let's roll this music now. Let's roll this intro. Don't let me forget, Tom. Uh, and then let's go ahead and let's get started tonight because I think you guys are going to like it. I actually, I really like this because this is the first trailers that we have like this in the game so far. So um, it's the time curve. Yeah. I used to be Wander's favorite stream. We get to haul dirt and do all these manly things with the sissy truck. All right. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, there it is. Whew. Stretched, lowered, like a dadgum surfboard on the fives, what it's going to feel like, man. You, you could fit a whole, uh, I don't know what you could fit on the back of this thing. You could probably carry like two Harleys or maybe like a, I don't know, maybe another truck. <laughs> you could maybe you could carry a, a K100E on there. Uh... You know, we could do that wonder. We could carry your cab over on there. <laughs> Ozalito, what's up? All right, all right. So, uh, okay. So, Tom, let's go, uh, Mr. Super Chatter there from the Canada region. Uh, on your controls, whenever you put your um, wheelbase up here, check this one right here, your acceleration. Um, you want this inverted, and you want it to start from nothing to here and my thought is is you have some type of combination so that when your throttle comes out that either your brake kicks in or this this doesn't do what it's supposed to do so make sure that it's all inverted clutch brake and also accelerator um, the other thing is sometimes if it goes into a combination mode between your gas and your and your pedal um, it actually acts like this uh, no not centered inverted and centered nope not that one normal uh, maybe. Anyway, it's one of these is the brake, and when you let off all the way, it actually engages the brake, and then when you push it, it's like they do this number. So make sure that they're not doing that. Make sure that everything starts off in the inverted side and that you have a little bit of space on the dead zone on each pedal. So, hey! What's up, SWC? WC Mod Man, thank you there, man. New member, and that's uh, the crazy guy there. That's uh, that's a uh, that's Bart's brother. Uh, anyway, he's the guy that's doing the. Uh, he does the big uh, the big grain hauler um, uh, doubles that we did uh, a few weeks ago. So thank you, man. Appreciate it, uh, SWC. As always, man. So Tom, try that. Let me know if uh, if that actually works for you. I hope it does. Um, uh, so, okay. All right. So first thing, so we are using Pingus 3D9. This is the day cab with the longest frame that it has stretched out. I decided to do a red and white scheme. Uh, we've got the straight up pipes with no filters, with no heat guards, with no nothing on it. Um, because we, of course, will be in the N14 today. Uh, we've got this thing kind of set up kind of old school with the, the front lights and the grill and stuff. So we actually don't have like the mesh grill with the chrome diamonds and all the other funky stuff on here. I actually considered putting, um, 
putting some mirrors on the front just because I really haven't done that forever. But I actually saw not a truck like this, but a day cab like this. I had some pretty cool mirrors that I'd never seen. But anyway, regardless, it doesn't really matter. Let's go on to Trailer Manager because that's why we're here today. I've got to show you guys a brand new trailer pack uh, that just dropped out here last week. You will find this. I think it's Sartana Modding. Uh, that is in the description as well. He's got four trailers, a polar tank. He's got this Lufkin dump trailer, an East dump trailer, and also the Mac dump. So uh, three dumps and then um, a flush uh, of polar tank water trailer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So the polar tank, yes, is uh, just a regular old food grade type trailer. It's a simple chrome. Like um, it's well, it's well done. It's well modeled. It doesn't have like a ton of customizations. Um, but I figure what I would do is just kind of show you guys real quick. We're going to do a real quick build up, show you what these trailers can do. We're going to do a quick load with each one tonight, and that's going to kind of like be our live stream. So, uh, you know, once we kind of make it through all of this stuff, that's what you guys will be able to see. So if you are thinking like you want to do this, um, if you want to buy into another uh, mod, I'll only show you guys what I think is actually worth it. Um, this mod, I think, would be a little bit if it was just per trailer. The fact that he does a um, he does a uh, a pack that literally puts everything together as one pack, I think, is really good, because you get all four trailers for way cheaper than you would if you just bought one by one by one. So I'm all about bundles, all about deals um, when it comes to these things. Getting the most that you can for your money. That's why I like Rudas, um, because Rudas uh, USA Trailer Pack gives you three trailers for like literally nothing. I mean, you're like paying what six, seven dollars. Like no, maybe maybe a little bit more, like eight bucks a trailer, and there's not very many trailers that you can pay that are really that good quality for eight bucks. So uh, at any rate, this same thing, all four trailers. So I think it's the I think it's thirty five. I think it's what it is. It's like thirty five or something like that. So if you did the math on that, four trailers, um, you're talking less than ten dollars a trailer, which is pretty good, uh, especially when it comes to payor quality stuff. So uh, let's go ahead real quick here. Let's uh, jump into the drive seat. And, uh, and let's go ahead. I'm going to show you the first one. We're going to do the Lufkin in here. Uh, now, this is one of those that's kind of like a funky trailer. Like, this is like, to me, is like your all-out, like, service dump trailer, um, which are pretty cool. Now, these things do, if I'm not mistaken, let me see if I can adjust this. Because um, someone said I could adjust this. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you there, Highland Winter Wolf. Goodness gracious, man. I uh, appreciate that, man. Fifty dollars super chat there from Highly Winter Wolf. Hope all you are doing tonight. If you just want to say thanks for all the content you make, been catching up on a few this week. Well, thank you very much, man. I very much appreciate that, man. Highland and also, man, uh, Tom and Cobra, Chris, man, woof, guys, lighting it up tonight, man. I appreciate it, fellas. I really do, man. It's really nice of y'all to do that. Um, so let's. Uh, so we got uh, simple stuff on the front. All these are now. You do, can take this and make it completely chrome if you want to. Right now, you can take this one, and make it whatever color you want. So if you want to paint this thing, you certainly can. I just kind of leaving it the crystal white because I kind of like that look. Graphite gray is not bad, but you got to have the right truck for it. See what I'm saying? Um, anyway, if you want to do your own custom colors, that's okay. You can. Uh, so this one's got the wheels. You got a couple things on here, like chrome sides on this one. You got some cool uh, mud flaps on here, but these trailers really aren't all that customizable uh, in themselves anyway. So it's not, you know, you're not doing a huge like, you know, you're not gonna make huge custom ones on this. But it does have these cool chains down here that's modeled in. You got a couple different mud flaps if you want to choose those, and then whatever wheels you got, Smarties wheel pack. Road and tire pack from, uh, I mean, the road and wheel pack there from Steam Workshop. All that stuff works on this as well. Um, so this is trailer number one. So we're going to pick up a small one here. Uh, we are out of Reno here in the Sierra Nevada uh, is what we are pulling today. So I am going to uh, see if we can't just pull a simple cargo market job um, out of Reno. Uh, and we'll just do a small one up to, uh, we've got mud, gravel, we got sand, uh, tarp loads, we got mud, sand, gravel. Okay, this one does mud, sand, and gravel, evidently. And decent size on the loads. The gravel's a little light, but the mud's at least 40-some thousand. It's pretty good on a, what, 28-foot trailer, maybe 30, maybe. Something like that. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's put a little weight on it. Let's put a, let's pull a mud trailer. Let's do that. And the mining down to rail export. I hate rail export. That's such a, such a loser company. <laughs> That's a little long. Lone Pine's a good haul. Okay. All right. Ah, gosh. All right. Let's do Reno to Red Bluff. That's fine. All right. So now, chat, I am with you guys. 
Uh, yes, Tony Cooper, I do have a decap. I know, right? Let's see. I know. So there it is all together. <laughs> I mean, buddy, she is stretched out. Do some long haul mud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to uh, try to keep things a little bit on the... Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to go too long tonight, but I do want to kind of like you know, love this. I love this. Love this truck, man. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not usually one for like kind of crazy crappy stuff. Not crappy, but crazy stuff like this. Did I put the same wheels on there? I don't think I did. I, it's gonna bother me. Nah, it's all right. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go. It's a Texas truck, all right. <laughs> Yeah, I figure some people would like it. Some people will hate it. That's okay. Each to their own. What's up, Alexis Gonzalez? How are you? Uh, outdoor was shown. Oh, hang on. Let me reset my... <sighs> reset my wheel. Spent too much time in the out one there. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a pretty good one, man. I, I actually didn't... I, I was sitting there... I was thinking that Pink had fixed this. In like one of the last updates, and I was thinking, yeah, probably not gonna have the ability to do that again. And then lo and behold, I got on here and was like, yes, I can actually do it again tonight. Because <laughs> he had fixed it to where this one fits on the uh, the Legacy sleeper. Well, not that one. What's a good first truck mod to buy? Woo! Well, I tell you what, it's a loaded field there, money man. Um, it depends on how much you want to pay for it. it. It really does, and I hate I hate to be the guy like, hey, go buy this. Um, but man, there's some really, really, really good stuff out there, and it depends on what you want. You know what I mean? Um, it depends on like what you, what your customization, you know, games like. Do you like customizing it? Do you like it like this? Because, you know, some trucks you can't do this to. Um, other trucks you can. Some trucks are a little bit more, you know, like like what your real actual standard uh, trucks are, you know, out in the real world. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it kind of depends on, like, what you, what you really want to do. So maybe if you give me a little bit more of a, uh, give me a little bit more of a, a hit on that one, maybe I can give you a better idea. Oh, we did. Oh, I did. Shoot, I did do. Uh... All right, so we're gonna pick up and we'll stop by the store real quick because I did not, I did not change this over. Actually, let me see if I can change it right now. I think I'm, I think I'm in a uh, 18 speed, but a 13 speed. Nope. Let's try putting it on 13 and see if that fixes it. I think it will. I think I got a 13 speed transmission in there so and by the way I've tried to do a little bit of things with the camera so I'm trying to give you a little bit wider spec here without getting too far off the center line of the truck so you know let me know if you guys like this versus what we had the other night it was a little a little close last week this kind of gives you more of a three view without getting my noggin in the way <laughs> Uh, I've got another one up top there. You can barely see it, but uh, right there's another 24-inch monitor that I've got chat Streamlabs up on. Actually, I'm just downloading it. It's just, it's just running into my head. <laughs> Nothing to be alarmed about. All great YouTubers can do it. Yeah, head cam. I I thought about that, man. I've done uh, I've done a head cam before. Uh, it kind of went okay, <laughs> but I do a lot of looking around, man, between looking up and chat and stuff. And I just thought it it's hard enough with track IR, much less doing it with a camera actually on your head. <laughs> so I kind of was like, meh. 
I kind of wanted to see what the tarp load looked like. Honestly, I was kind of hoping. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. It'll be all right, man. Uh, so, Cody, these are 32-inch curves. I did have 40s on, and they were just they were just TVs. They weren't like actual monitors. Um, so I went with the 32 curved. I'll tell you what. Let's just go ahead and skip that. We'll try to park it, and we'll try to back it up there. RTA 359 is a good truck. Uh, you're not going to find any issues with it. Um, yeah, look at that. That's a nice, that's a good looking uh, dirt texture at least. Oh, I guess you guys need to see that, don't you? <laughs> I used to get used to that. So the eye tracker is uh, just a, something you wear on the side of your, your head. Now, I don't have mine on right now, but it controls your head back and forth. Look at my older videos past yesterday. Uh, that's what I've actually got on. <laughs> I gotta provide free drama, me. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe even for myself when I go back and rewatch that one. <laughs> say putting it on the right well I'll try that for the next stream the the only problem with putting it on the right is that um, the only thing with doing it like that is the fact that it makes this right screen over here it makes it look um, it makes it look kind of dark um, and so you kind of get this really bright center because you're more like faced right on it and and then you miss like this one over here feels dark um, so that's why I didn't put it I can try it again, but you don't—you still don't like really get the. I thought maybe you know if we did it, you'd get the sensation that you were like riding passenger seat, but that's—it it doesn't really work that way. I'll do it next stream. You guys, let me know what you think. Um, I think they're ten, honestly, Cody. I don't think they're thirteen six. <laughs> What's up, Reds? How are you, man? Yeah, the M14 is my favorite. What's up, big homie? How are you, man? Yeah, the thirty-four six. Yeah. Uh, the M14 right now, Justin, is it. I'm actually going to have some other things for you guys to see right here as well. So I've got plans for this area of the uh, of the cab, which is why I don't have anything in here. And it feels very bland and very, like, open. Um, there, There's something planned to go right there. That's, that's all I'll say. That's all I'll say about that right now. That's a surprise. Oh, look at this nice Dodge. Appreciate that, buddy. All right, let's get on letter, letter E here. 220 miles here. Uh, we will be heading on into the big old city of Red Bluff. We are in Sierra Nevada as well for uh, the Team Reforma group. This is the guy that do, uh, guys that do Viva Mexico. So we'll be heading on their map here for, uh, for a few miles. This is probably one of my favorite maps over any of them. sun over here what 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 what, what, what time we got all right six o'clock we're gonna hurry oh good Tom so that fixed it for you good man good 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 well hey man <laughs> I, I'm just I'm just glad some of my hot air that comes out of my mouth man I'm glad I helped somebody out there <laughs> Matt gamer there all the way from Brazil what's up man I don't know why I say it like that. I don't think anybody else does. I always think about the, uh, I always think about like the uh, going 60, not going 60 seconds, the uh, Fast and Furious movie. Do it like Brazil. <laughs> What's up, Hancho? How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. No, before you ask, Hancho, I have not, I have not downloaded Flight Sim. I feel like I've just done a disservice to all mankind. <laughs> but I haven't downloaded it yet. Or X-Plane. I really wanted to see both of them, honestly, because I have all the really good payware planes for X-Plane. <laughs> I wanted to see what it looked like, man. Oh, God. Hey, what's up, John? Well, glad you finally called. Hey, uh, 
glad you finally caught a live man. Thank you there, Timbo. I'll tell you what, we fit that big old five inch right there and get a triple across it. It's gonna be legit, man. It's gonna be screaming. I got nothing left to do with my time. I'm running out of things to do. <laughs> All right, well, the Jeep just stopped in the middle of the road. Let's roll some windows down. It's a little stuffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're in Brazil. Yeah. That's why that's when uh, when Hobbs comes up there and tries to catch him in the car beat. He's like, we're not in the States anymore, Hobbs. We're in Brazil. Sorry, I shouldn't know that much of that, that movie. But you know, I do. What's up, Dave? You can see our buddy there, Dave, all the way from the UK, catching us for a live. Bienvenue, Black Falcon. Bonjour to Quebec, Canada. Bienvenue. Ah, good chaos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I tried to, I tried to get it. It's a little bit up and a little bit more swung out. I, I thought. Oh, look at that trailer suspension. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's nice. JBX Skies, man, is getting a freaking getting on point, man. JBX, I got JBX the update in, man. Freaking sunsets are like, wow. About, about, as, about as yellow as that truck right there. I don't know if we can do it. Let's pull the switcheroo. I don't ever do this, y'all. We're getting a treat. We got mud to get by Eureka. Red Bluff. No, sorry, Red Bluff. It helps if you know where you're going. You got to do it fast. Because you don't want to fastly be going in the wrong way. Yeah, that, that, yeah, man. That the sky's legit. It's good stuff, man. I thought she was getting out of the way. Okay. Yeah, it's uh We we may have <laughs> we may have make somebody grab their pants right there. Yeah, yeah, is that Gibran or uh, I hate I don't think it's Gibran. Is it Gibran R? If it is the so the drum trailer is a pack, yes. Links are in the description. I've got Selfie and also Facebook. It's a good thing about Selfie. Make sure you guys, if you decide to do it, make sure that you check the box that says, hey, let me know about other future, like, you know, publications and updates. Because that's where, when he sends an update out on Selfie, it'll come to your email. If you don't check that box, I don't know that you necessarily get an email. So, just make sure. Yeah, look behind me here. Look at that, man. So that's the that's the reverse side of the uh, sun coming out of the mountain. That's nice, man. <laughs> Should get FTG shoes. <laughs> well, I got red shoes. So this right here, button box, I've got links down in the description there. Advanced simulation products. You can find them through EvolvePC.com, uh, I believe. And I also have a code. If you ever get interested in buying one of those things, use my code FTG10. Get you 10% off any box that's in their store. So it's good stuff, man. Yeah, so I did ghost. Here's the thing. With big screens, it does not matter. Like, it actually works or if the screens are elevated. The problem with mine is I've actually got them where they're supposed to be because I actually measured it out and did what I was supposed to do. And hang on a minute, we're gonna need to, uh, we're, we're gonna need to roll this up back to in the morning. I'm not gonna drive through the day, I mean through uh, the darkness. Hang on.
All right, seven. Okay, let's go eight. There we go. Hang on. Ah, oh, glad I got that mute button in there. All right, so the thing about doing it like that is that it normally is not a problem if you've got your screens elevated or if you're sitting a little bit low or back. Problem is I've got it setting where it looks natural to me, like where the, the natural dashboard would be. Um, the problem is you guys don't see anything but the top of my head and my hat. And even, even if I were to wear something else or just have a headset on, like you still see the whole head. It doesn't matter where I put the camera or even how high up. Like there's a certain point at which the height of the camera, it kind of makes it look dumb. You know, it's just kind of like it would be pointless. So that's why I've got it off to the side because you can see more. Um, I mean, I guess it would maybe work if I was, if it was like an accessory camera, you know, I think that might be a totally different deal. Uh, I tried the head cam looking down, you know, but there's like, I don't know, there's, there's, like with this camera, it's like a, it's like a legit, like it's like the Sony A6400. So I mean, it, it's, it's almost like impossible to like suspend it across your, um, you know, head with it. You know, it's because it's too heavy. So, <laughs> John, we're using the uh, N14 uh, from. Uh, Using the N14 tonight from uh, Mr. C Mods. That's on Steam Workshop. Yeah, I'm actually going to hook up another camera for those that really like the shift camera. Um, I'm going to put it on the right side so you'll see. I'm going I'm to pull it right here off the wall to where you'll be able to see the box and you'll be able to see the shifter. Uh, at a lot more closer, you know, angle, so. What's up, Shane? What I do today? Uh, lots of stuff, actually. No, not really. Watched the kids this morning. Built up stream, got ready for tonight. Got that done this afternoon. So, pretty much what I've been doing most of the day, really. Any other complaints about the setup, everyone? Just glad everyone's enjoying themselves. Yeah, yeah, ATS combo would be tomorrow night. What's up, Andrew? How are you, man? No, I don't have ideas for tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think about tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I think I think uh, I think the traffic on here a little bit slow in Sierra. They always have been. I, I've always hated that. I always tempted to turn the traffic completely off. Hey, what's up, Bear? How are you, man? Hope you're doing good, man. You on, are you on the internet there, man? Or are you must just on your phone hanging? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it slowed down to 25. Wow. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and get by the Mr. Greyhound here.
Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, we, we might. I don't know. I've enjoyed coming out of Washington to Oregon. So, what's up, Sanister? Hey, thank you there, Brian King. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, you mean a uh, Peterbilt long stretched out day cab with, uh, yeah. Uh oh, internet's crapping. Come on, baby, come back, internet. No, no, no. Oh, no. We've actually had terrible, and we've had bounce for the internet for the past two months. It dropped a few times today. I'm hope I was hoping. That, yes. Yeah. I was. I was hoping tonight would be better, but. I don't, God, I don't, so, I don't. Uh, 143, yeah, we're rolling Peterbilt, man. Uh, Ping is Peterbilt tonight. <laughs> five seconds. Well, hopefully it doesn't continue to keep doing it tonight, man. I was a little bit worried. I actually thought about pulling some things down internet-wise, uh, bit rates and stuff tonight, just to, it's been off and on all day. <laughs> well, it's smooth for me. That's the sad thing. Like, I hate it for y'all. Because <laughs> I can see what I'm doing, and then I look up there, and I, I can tell the I can tell the bit rate when it's lagging on Streamlabs. I've got those settings pulled up so I can figure out what's going on, whether or not it's me or it's internet. That was after the last one, because I did a lot of blaming on YouTube, and it was actually me. <laughs> so I hope nobody went and, uh, you know, shared any nasty memes to YouTube on my behalf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go me. Yeah, so after that, I figured out, you know what? I think I'll put those settings up so that way next time I'll know. <laughs> yeah, Ben, so I'm using 32-inch uh, curved. It's the MSI um, 165 refresh rate, one millisecond gaming, gaming monitors. Um, yeah, 32-inch curved MSI is what I'm using. And if you guys want to know anything else that I got minus, I, I still I forgot to put the uh, the PC in the uh, description down there at the bottom. But I do have all of this, uh, all of my other stuff is all down there as well. So I've got, oh my gosh. So I've got everything basically that I use here for stream is all in there. So if you guys want to see anything else, I think I updated the monitors on there as well. So if you guys want to check any of that stuff out, just scroll down to the very bottom of the description. It, Basically, everything I have in front of me is, is sitting right there, too. So, uh, Fanatec, Timothy. It's actually their NASCAR rim, but uh, got their universal button hall and then the uh, actual base hub there. Hub base, not base hub. Makes it sound weird. Uh, uh, over, over 100 plus TNL. I still sync it up at 30 though, just so that um, I still sync it up at 30, just so that I can keep between what I stream out on YouTube plus this, keep everything in sync. Because 120 doesn't serve anything for y'all. Like you're not gonna see it. You know what I I don't do stream. I don't do streaming on it. On uh, oh, I don't know. He's doing it on Facebook. Don't, don't talk to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> How you stretch them out? You just buy the ones that have stretch frames. <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> uh, 
Cade, we're going to Red Bluff, which is over here in uh, over here in uh, um, the Sierra Nevada land here from uh, Team Reforma, which is the guys that do Viva Mexico. So once I get through these initial curves right here, I'll go back out and let you guys check out the trailer. We are featuring a new modder, at least uh, a new friend to me. He still knows some of the other guys that we've uh, that we've been featuring over the past couple of weeks uh, and months. Uh, but uh, anyway, I've got mod description. I mean, in the description, I've got mod links for him, Facebook group links, uh, and uh, you will also find in his cell fire store uh, some brand new trailers. These uh, these new end dumps, and they're really 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 good. So here is uh, here's one of them, of course. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good looking trailer. So we've got the other three. So we'll uh, we'll make sure that we uh, <laughs> Viper's ready tonight. I did think about going back and doing like a, uh, go back and do like an old school one, you know. <laughs> uh, do I have a nice 4900? Yes, we do. Um, Oh, well, actually, mine are 48s. I don't think I have a 49. I don't think. My favorite truck, it changed, James. It, it changes. I mean, I um, right now I'm enjoying the Roland 389. I'm enjoying Pingus 389. Um, both of those are, like, really, really, really good. Good trucks. Uh, but, I mean, honestly, I like Texas Chromes. Like, I mean... I think every truck that I drive has its qualities that really make it, um, you know, really make it fun to drive and, uh, you know, trying to, you know, I don't know, trying to mix both of those, trying to get the most out of, you know, the trucks that you do have at your disposal. I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't like just to drive one and, and that's a good thing really because if not all you guys would see is one particular truck, you know, you get tired of seeing that. Um, at least you get to see a lot of different trailers, lots of different trucks, and I'm equally excited really about all of them, um, more so than I am about any of the, you know, the ones like, you know, like just driving, like, oh, find me driving, Graham's Peters, oh, you're find me driving. And some people like that, but a lot of guys that want to see this other stuff and see some general reaction to it, it's kind of hard to do like reviews on trucks that you don't like anyway just because it's a, I don't know, Kenworth, you know? It's kind of hard to do that. <laughs> I am not a real trucker. Nope. I'm just uh, just a guy that enjoys the game and uh, a guy that YouTube decided, hey, let's shoot you some more views on ATS. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> uh, edible. It's uh, pretty much ultra. I don't even do 400 because I can't tell the difference. Um, but I'm usually, stay, usually keeping it at about 300 on ultra. Add a little anti-aliasing in there depending on what maps you're running something else depending on what their assets are done like so what's up dave dub how are you man yeah uh so uh hi is it is it heisis gaming reds uh this is the sierra nevada so if you type in sierra nevada ats in like google it'll pull you up to uh i think duda or dude reforma uh that's the team reforma maps of viva mexico it's in that collection so Basically, Sierra Nevada was like one of their first projects, and they did Viva Mexico, and now they're doing like Chihuahua, and um, they did like the Mexico Extremo, and it's all part of the same collection. But you can do Sierra Nevada by itself. Like, you don't have to do anything, so. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I mean, it's, uh, well, it's insane, but I mean, comparatively, there's no comparison to it, though. I mean, because you're running, what, still an I-5? And I mean, this is a 10.9 at 5.6 with a 3080. I mean, it should be smoking ATS. You know, ATS is what, five years old now? It should be smoking it. I'll tell you, the one that I really, really liked was iRacing. Oh my God. Man, it's so good, man. I can't wait to, can't wait to show you guys a little bit of ATS action once uh, things roll around, what, next two Sundays from now? 
Man, running three wide, man, puts you in the car, dude. God, it feel, almost feels real. Yeah, JBX works with pretty much everything. I've not found anything that JBX doesn't work. Of course, now I don't go, I don't go way out there. You know, I don't, I don't get into like these funky maps that like are, are fictional. You know, there used to be more of those, but not anymore. Um, I, I pretty much keep my stuff within like coast to coast every now and again, um, or I'll keep it in uh, you know Sierra Nevada. Uh, we'll run obviously pro mods up in Canada. Uh, but outside of that, man, I don't stray too far off the reservation when it comes to my maps. I always have too many issues with it, you know. Uh, why did I change cameras? What do you mean change? I didn't change cameras. What do you mean? Mm, yeah, let's try backing one in. Nah, I don't play bull. Hey, Kenny. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. All right. Let's go ahead and let's back her in here. We'll go on to trailer number two. Good time tonight. So I want to I take one down the interstate if we can because I love the interstate on here. You guys are getting like a triple tonight. So y'all get to see a cool truck. Then you get to see a really awesome trailers. And then you get to see a cool map on top of that. Not doing it right, Gabriel. <laughs> you got to make sure you got the the uh, resources in there. You running anything else with it? Yeah, we are a little far to the left. Ah. Oh. What's up, Joker Race Gaming? How are you, man? Uh, Timothy, it's a custom. I hate, I hate to say it's custom, but it is. Nobody ever wants to hear that. Yeah, I had uh, a good friend of mine built this for me. So it sits on a Fanatec shifter, though, but the shift topper is completely custom. But you could still you know, get any of the other shift toppers to work with it just as well. Um, yeah, I don't have a problem, Gabriel. Uh, just make sure you have that in the resources. You're going to have the mega resources in. That goes below Sierra Nevada, I believe. And then uh, I just run it. Man, we got that one too far. Oh, it's going to let us have it. That's good enough. We'll, we'll take it right there, man. <laughs> I don't know, because it's uh, the, the rail export is the only one that accepts every load in the game. And so I think whenever you set these loads up to be like construction loads... Like, you pick forestry loads up from this. I mean, you literally can pick anything up from rail yard. I guess because you could deliver it by train, I guess. Maybe. I don't really know. But I know any time in, like, um, we're doing, like, online stuff, I'll pretty much take these, uh, not not these dump trailers, but I'll take um, any kind of load we do online, like if we're doing a Saturday Night Convoy, and I'll if I pick it up and deliver from the rail, ex, ex, uh, the rail yard, I can literally pick up anything because everything works in there. So I think it's just like a general default when these guys create these loads for trailers, like the rail export literally accepts everything. So it's just one more place to pick up, you know, and set down stuff without having to, oh, got to sneeze. Woo, don't let the corona. All right, so here's the other, this is, Hmm, this is one of my faves. All right, so we've got two Mac. Ooh, let's do the Mac. Do we want to do the Mac? Let's do the East Dump. All right, so this is what we did the other night. So this one's actually pretty cool. This one's got a lot of stuff on it. So uh, once you get through, you got the dump trailer. Obviously, it's only a single. It does have the two axles. It is a lift axle, if that matters to anybody. Don't know if it does. Absolutely gorgeous trailer. Um, but uh, you can obviously do the, the, the colors of the top. Uh, if you want to. Everything else is a selectable uh, icon. So, excuse me. I know it's just my, my nose started running. I may have to sneeze a couple. Uh, but anyway, um, if you want to add some of these stuffs in, you can. Um, you can decide to do this closed with the ridges on here. Uh, you can remove those if you don't want them. Uh, if you want it just basically straight dump. 
Um, anyway, you can see you put the tarp over here. Uh, it does have the nice light uh, range in the middle of it, which is cool. I think SWC was the guy that did one similar to this, so I'm not sure if um, if if, uh, if 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 Sartana's got the same uh, look and he kind of created the same filler spot there with some lights in it. But whichever, two of my favorite trailers between SWC and and these guys, I love this little this little filler with the lights in here. It's 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 wonderful. Um, so you've got that in there if you like it. He's got a couple, I think, one without and with. Um, we've also got Confederate flag. I'm not going to put it on there because I don't really like it. But you can do Texas flag if you are a Texasite, um, a Texan, Texanite. Then you got the U.S. flag if you want those. I chose not to, but it doesn't matter. Same thing here. You can put them on the sides if you want the corners up here uh, with them. You got old glory here in the back. You can do the same thing. You can put Texas flag. I'm, I'm assuming that probably... Um, I need to ask him if this is something you'll be able to do, if you'll be able to accessorize that one and, like, put a state flag on it. So, I mean, I could put a North Carolina flag up if I wanted to, you know, just like he's done Texas or, you know, whatever. Um, and let's see. He's got this cool thing right here. So, he's got the dump door. Um, I guess controls on here, I think. And then he's got, the, like, the little uh, the hose right here. So, you can run the hose underneath and it ties off at the frame or you can run it uh, and cinch it off up here at the front, which I thought was kind of a – you know, a cool little accessory. If you don't want to run it, you don't have to. It's got lights. The lights are really cool on this truck. I do like them a lot. Um, and then he's got, what's this one? Okay, yep. Yeah. She's got that one there, too. Got these cool lights here in the middle, uh, which is nice little uh, yellow lights. I was thinking, kind of reminds me of, like, the reefers put those little five and seven light combos down here um, for little caution lights in front of the uh, the rear axles. Tires, wheels, whatever you want to put in there, like everything else. Put on your mud flaps, and also you've got a couple different choices of weights if you want to do um, uh, if you want to do any of these different styles. He's got five different styles of weights on there, and then you can make them all match, obviously, which is uh, which is pretty cool. I, I like those. We can run with those. And then if you want to run it without the mud, mud flap in the middle, then just erase both of those things, and there you go. So this one's uh, pretty self-explanatory. It is a dump, so I mean you can't expect uh, too much out of this one. So. Uh, so there's this one. So let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and retire this one off. We'll pull something quick down the interstate with this next one. So we'll use that. And yep, there she is. All that red will look good with the truck. I feel like I planned that or something. <laughs> I wonder if we could pick up from the rail yard. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the bitumen down here. Probably can go ahead and pick something up here. Alright, so there's that one. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we got here on the cargo side. Oh, we got long ones. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going back across there. Let me... Let's see. Actually, I tell you what. Let's do this. Let's go back out of here. Let's just see what else we can pick up <clears throat> here in Bluff. There we go. One right down to Fresno. 215. There we go. Hornbrook. There we go. Perfect. Let's pick that one up. Okay, rail export right out to the bitumen. All right. Well, at least we get to drive in the bitumen. So. What's up, Milo? All right. So I'm just going to spin us back around and go back to where, <laughs> where we were. My bad. We'll pick this one up there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can help you, man. Yeah, one of us can. There's a lot of guys. They've, they've learned, <laughs> they've learned from me and some of the others. <laughs> what to? Uh, they've learned. We've learned. They've, they've learned from me what to do on those maps. <laughs> That's the problem, man. We go get up. Uh, Vicky Dodson, uh, do you have a Fanatec wheel? If you have a Fanatec wheel, I can help you. If you don't, uh, my wheel settings are not going to be much uh, much use to you. Uh, Braden, yeah, pretty much, man. Yeah, pretty much. I have enough fuel? Yeah, I do. Yeah, for a 100 mile trip. We, we got plenty. Check out those flashers, man. <laughs> Got them over the whole trailer.
Uh, it does mad. It just makes me sick. <laughs> yeah, it works. I just can't do it. Um, I don't really need them, you know. I've got a button that lets me lean out, but yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't need it enough to throw it on there. Up, up, up. There we go. Swift and training. Here we go. There we go. Just a little. Get me, get me set back on the course there. <laughs> What's up, no one you know? How are you, man? Uh, yes, payword trailer, yes. Everything is down in the description if you guys are interested. I would suggest get the pack. Get the pack of trailers. Don't just get the one. I mean, you can, but... You know, I mean, obviously, if like money's a little, if it's a little tight, you don't have room to, you know, spend the thirty some odd on the all four. You know, good thing is I'm showing you all four tonight, so then that way, if you just want to get one, you don't want to get the other ones, then you can figure out which one you want tonight. I would say this one and the next one that I'm doing, the East Frame uh, dump. I would say that one's probably tied for the best trailer to this one. What's up, Dynamic Carry Man? Yeah, well, I'm. Yeah, this, this, uh, you've got short trailers that aren't 53 footers, and then you put that on a trailer, I mean, on a truck, that's almost as long as the trailer is. <laughs> so, I mean, it's pretty close. <laughs> Um, I don't have a video on my steering wheel setup just because mine have always been a little bit different. Um, my steering wheel setup is different if I am, um, it's a little bit different if I'm on the, the what you would call it, um, if I'm on a Logitech, if I'm on the TSPC, like every single one of them have been different. Fanatec, yeah, absolutely no different. Thank you there, Oscar. No, no, the base of my truck. No, 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 no. This, this is, uh, this is Pingus. Um, I don't think his, I don't think his truck is anything except its own creation. I don't, I don't think it's based off of anybody's. I don't think. Hey, what's up, Appalachian Drone Flights Project? Uh, Project Trace Cups. Trace Cups. Uh, you can find it in the description, man. Uh, Pink is self five store. That's the one that's at 25 uh, for the truck. And uh, pretty much everything comes on it except for the wheels. The wheels are free. You just got to search the mod site for like huge Alcoa wheel pack. And every single one of them will spin it out. Oh, yeah. No, the friend knows. My friend made my shifter. Yeah. And he made the truck. Of that that gurgle man. Timbo knows about that gurgle. Never mind. Already see eagles. What's up? Yeah, man. Yes, Thomas, it is. Ugh, it's a loaded question, Brad. <laughs> I had to I'd fire that one off for everybody. 
Everybody says the horn to work. It sure does. That's the SES City horn. That's not like me. Uh, rip, I don't think so. Some people have said that it works with the sound pack, although I can get it to work. Now, it works and drives. You can drive it around. Now, you can also add that. Um, you can add his truck if you know how. You can add it to other sound packs so that it'll be compatible with them. Um, but uh, even I haven't done that yet. I was going to wait on him to do it, you know. All right, let's go ahead and let's get in the, get in the passion lane here and let's make some. Uh, get on up out of the way. Do you go up to a Logitech? So let's see for you. Uh, yeah, uh, Logitech was the gear driven one. So if you leave your bottom three settings, I think there's seven. If you leave the bottom three, terrain, engine, collision, leave all them 5% or less. And the top three, if you'll make them, the first one about the 25% mark, the second one about 40% mark. So basically it'll look like this. Well, wait a minute, not this cam. This cam right here. If you'll make it look like this, between your first, second, and third. So like 25, 35, 40, and then 30, 20, 35, 25. Make it look like the uh, the less than sign, then that'll be your settings. I don't know if that makes you, uh, if, that, if that spins your head around, or you know, if that's like, oh yeah, I know what he's talking about. It's okay if you don't. How many mods do I have? I don't know, I've got an 87 in this, uh, in this particular profile. Uh, about six, six or seven different profiles, but yeah, I've got a lot in this one. Most of the time, uh, 18, but tonight we're actually running a 13. So, yeah, the main thing you want to do, Vicky, is leave those last three or four off, like basically off. If not, your wheel will just sit there and go, and it's so annoying. You don't need it to do all that. Thank you there, Fitz. What's up, Jeff Hooper? So these are the Audio Technicas, uh, Audio Technica broadcaster mics. I wanted something that I didn't have to keep that stupid, you know, condenser mic in front of my mouth, man. It's a lot better, especially with three wide, because I can turn my head around, and I don't lose any uh, vocal quality, you know? Everything's right there in the minute, so. It's good stuff. Uh, Wrecker Mod is not free. A bunch of people have ripped that mod away. Um, Way back when, it was kind of like, I don't know if it was really leaked out or if, I don't know exactly what happened, I think, early on. Then Blades took it, um, and, then, um, and then, but people still, if you find the free version, it's really supposed to be a payware. Elias, uh, no, it's not on PS4. What you mean, Timothy? What's up, Riz? Exactly sure. Maybe. Probably not. Because I feel like if I did, I would know it. <laughs> That's good, Riss. Yeah, nice side. Unfortunately, like I don't, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I just don't think you're going to be able to get away from that necessarily. There's just so many of them out there now, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew, I, I knew I'd hit some, some, uh, some flak back on the. Uh, the headset but man I like it it's comfy it's a lot better than what I was working with and the mic was good it sounded good I just you know just ah, it's annoying to wear thank you there Maurice let's see we are 
probably almost there. All right, yeah, man. Look at that. Yeah, a truck is literally as long as a trailer is. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. KCK, I just, uh, there's a setting in, in uh, gameplay, I believe. Oh, we get this one, okay. There's a setting in there that you can turn off. Uh, and I think it is like disable fatigue simulation, and he'll stop yawning at you every five minutes. <laughs> they probably said the same thing about you, Nima. It's okay, not everybody. Yeah, everybody wants me to do something crazy. They're like, do something crazy. Do something interesting and, you know, fun and entertaining. So I'm like, hey, why don't we just pull this one like a truck that's as long as the trailer? Facebook, there'd be like 5,000 people watching right now waiting for me to run off a cliff. <laughs> but you know, on YouTube, everybody calls it a dumb truck. <laughs> We're looking for a little more real ass on there, FTG. That's why we like it. <laughs> Oh, uh, y'all don't lie. Y'all know it's the truth. <laughs> y'all know it's the truth. Don't lie. All right, so that's number two. So let's hop on to number three. This is actually probably one of my faves um, out of this pack. I actually really like this one a lot. It's got a, actually a, a good bit more stuff uh, to do with it. So let's disable that one. And let's move on down to the Mac Dump, which I do like this one. Um, it's got a lot of stuff. It's just a really beefy trailer. Um, so this one kind of is the same way, except this one's got a little bit more. So it does have the 24-foot, two-axle, and you got the one here with the three with the lift on it. Um, and then uh, this one's just all chrome. There's no painted painted stuff on this one. As you can see, the, even though the trailer's a little smaller, it's got pretty much it's got a lot more stuff on it. So you got hoses in the front. You got the ladder doors and stuff in here if you want these. Uh, it's got the same little, uh, if you want this in, you can have it out and have it not. Um, also you can take, uh, I believe you can take this off. Yeah, we'll take it off and see what that load looks like. Um, and then you've got a bunch of different, uh, light nodes on here. So if you want to change how these up, uh, you can, um, then once you move around here to the back, you've got, um, you've got different light setups here on the back as well. Uh, the chains on the side, which are pretty cool. Now, I think there's two and I actually think I've added one too many. Yeah, yeah, yeah I have. So kind of a cool thing there. You can actually decide which set of chains you like. So you got the ones that hang on the slider, which this one's more like, I guess this is more set up like if this is just a like a lift door and the whole thing doesn't plow open. Y'all y'all would probably know more about this than I'm trying to explain. This one actually looks like it unhooks and the whole thing comes loose and rocks on these pivot arms up here. But um, anyway, you've got the other door option here if you want. Uh, for the dump door, and then uh, same thing for lights here. Uh, mud flaps and stuff like he does. A, he does a good job with all of them. So he's got the weights on those, Mac dumps on the front, wheels and tires. You can do whatever you want to, and you've got a ton of choices now. I literally packed everything onto the front right here, but you can take any amount of these off that you want. So if you want some of the lights on, that's uh, you know not the the big the big pile of lights in the front. If you just want to kind of you know, shrink that down some. You can take the orange lights away. You can add them back. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah. So if you just want to do middles, you can. Uh, let's let me figure out which one. Here we go. So you can take those away if you want. You can just do single lights up here, like you know what I'm saying. Like you can you can really kind of take it down a notch to where it's not so big. And if you don't like the four drapes in the front, you can always pull these little small bumper ones up here, and then that way you'll have to um, you know do away with the lights. Of course, you keep your orange ones up. But at any rate, 
a uh, pretty good amount of, uh, you know, for a trailer that's pretty much it is what it is. Um, you know, this one's actually got a, a pretty decent amount of uh, customizations for just a, you know, a, a Mac dump trailer. So, um, so at any rate, I'm going to add some more because I did actually like adding all of that stuff in there. So let's add the full, the full, there we go. Pretty good deal. I like that. Yeah, for right now, Epic, they're all singles. Now, I don't know if there's any plans on making these, um, if there's got any plans on making these triples, doubles, or if he's planning on doing, I would imagine there would probably be some room for some longer trailers, uh, especially in the Mac end dump, because I know they made a, a, a bunch of different kinds, and they made some with like four axles and five and six axles. I've seen some with eight axles. If you just type in Mac dump trailer, there is a ton of them out there. Um, so really uh, probably the options are endless on axle control. Um, but, um, but that may come up in a, in a later update. I just don't know exactly what all he has in store for this mod, uh, for its, you know, uh, for its duration, for its, uh, you know, how, uh, what he actually sees as the kind of like the end game with the trailer. Cause a lot of these guys, you know, they, they get the trailer and then they, they basically kind of get, you know, 50, 60, kind of what their mind's eye is. And then they kind of work towards through updates and, they use the updates through ATS to kind of springboard what they want to do with it. So they'll use that time that an update comes up that they have to naturally update the trailer anyway. Um, most of the time anyway, they'll use that to kind of add in new parts. Sometimes a good thing. Sometimes eh, it's a bad thing. It doesn't really work out as planned. So, you know, but anyway. So let me... There we go. So that's what that's what she looks like in uh, in games. It's pretty legit. I like this trailer. This one and uh, the one that we were just pulling. Those are my two favorites. I don't know. I like these. They're just really beefy looking. Um, and yes, the truck is actually must. The truck must be thirty foot long. <laughs> it's got to be. Let's uh, let's uh, let's put yeah. Let's put the time back down to eight in the morning. And let's see what uh, what kind of a job we can pull out of Hornbrook here since we're right here. Um, oh, of course, nothing great, 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 great. Um, uh, well, we got some wood chips from Klamath. Klamath down to Redding, sure. Yeah, because these will all pull from, looks like he was going to pull from plaster, the farms. So at least the loads are set up right on these. Um, I know a lot of people hate pingas, like the way that he does his trailer loads, because they literally load up like picking up a load of mud at the eddies. <laughs> but these are all at the construction yards and farm yards, so that's cool. Um, I guess we'll just go to Klamath, um, unless you guys want to go somewhere else. I like Klamath. It's a pretty decent little city. We'll just, uh, what are we at time-wise? Hour 13? Let's do uh let's do wood chips down. Yeah, let's do wood chips down to uh Redding. We'll do a small one there. What's up, Brax? Never knew you left, but welcome back. Uh Okay. Da, 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 da. Let's see where is it at? Where is it at? All right, there we are. Um, uh, whenever we do his full deal, um, I'm gonna work on his full deal here, um, uh, pretty soon. This uh, probably coming a week. Actually, let me. I'm gonna go to another screen here. Is this it? Yeah, I meant to pull all of this away. Hang on, just a second. I'm gonna fix. I'm going to fix that, turn that off, so it's just, there we go. Now it's just the three wide. No sense in having that bunch of redundancy. <laughs> Big words. You weren't supposed to see that, Devin. I'm working on it. I'm working on getting a price. Because <laughs> i got to tell you all how much it's going to cost, because you're going to have to pre-buy. <laughs> yeah, legit, uh, legit FTG hats with the uh, three try the three the three color gray bills red this white back and with a uh stained leather uh embossed logo on the front 
This ain't, this ain't gonna be your Gramps hat. I'll tell you right now. You better not put my hat on and hop in Gramps Peter. It ain't, it ain't gonna fly. Going at Nice, at least gonna have to uh, hop in a truck called Kenny. <laughs> Will the game allow higher drivers to drive? So, yes. Um, it it kind of does it in the game brains, Jeremy, if that makes sense. Like, it doesn't really, like, you don't really see your guys, like, pulling trailers along the road, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's, a, little, it's a little different. Um, it's, I think a lot of people had originally thought when the game came out, that's what it's going to be like, but... <laughs> All right, Devin, I will. Yeah, I'll put it up here, and then I'll, I'll uh, we'll put some stuff up on the uh, Discord and stuff as well. Slime it up, what's up? <laughs> Man, we're supposed to do that. I saw it too. I was like, oh crap, now they can see both of my screens now. <laughs> That's right, man. Boom, it's a dump truck. Well, you know, fair enough, like, you can actually be a dump truck with Pingus. You know, he can actually do that. But I, I don't I don't think the, the loads don't work the same. Like, um, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't done any research on his truck as a dump truck. I don't think SES has given the modders the ability to create um, like dump loads that actually add weight to the truck. They're always like in the form of the trailer. So, I, but I don't know. The guys on ETS did the BDF, do the rigid chassis. I don't know whether the same thing, the same concept can be applied to ATS trucks. You know what I mean? All right. Let's load this one up. Is does agent does um uh what's his name? Uh what's his name? What is his name? Capital. Does Capital still do that one mod? Does he keep it up? The invisible one? Hey, think of there, Beth. Benoit. Is that right? Benoit? Or is that the wrestler, like Chris Benoit. Anybody remember Chris? Oh, Chrissy Chris. Thank you, Jody. I kept the secret. Well, imagine someone keeping a private mod agent. Huh. Huh. The shame, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody remembers Benoit. It's French. But you're welcome. Thank you there. Appreciate the two for the load. It's the middle flowing. Some nice wood chips there in the back. Actually, you uh, look like wood chips. That are a big old pile of wet leaves. Just kidding. Oh, I hate it with the automatic. Uh, you can haul cattle. Yep, you can haul plenty of cattle. Plenty, plenty of guys do it. I just don't do it on here because we only have really a couple of uh, of cattle trailers. So typically, what I do like to do, Luis, is or Lewis, is I like to um, I, I like to feature a lot of different mods, whether it's trailers, you know, trucks, just to keep things interesting uh, and not keep you know too much of the same old, same old rolling through the channel. Uh, but I I rarely ever like kind of haul just to like haul <laughs> a lot of times we're showing something new or um you know something that's uh showing something that somebody might be interested in you know looking at might be something they haven't seen in a while you know all right Klamath falls down to reading i believe a little short load here with the dump we'll show this will be a third trailer of the evening so we'll uh, pull the polar tank next it still looks good too, man. I like the chromes on these. This one's a little bit flashy, uh, so some people won't like the flashiness of it. But it looks good, man. The modeling and stuff, if he did this from the ground up, man, the modeling on the back of this looks really, really good. And the ridges are, are modeled in. They're not like, um, 
I don't know how to explain that, but they're actually modeled in, which is really nice. A lot of detail, man, on the back of that trailer. All the little latches, and I, I would say it would be nice to see it like a little dirtied up, you know, a little banged up, or at least, uh, at least the material of the chrome be a lot more dull. I think that would probably like completely set it off. People would be like, oh my God, this looks bad to the bone. But nonetheless, it still doesn't take the fact away. I guess if you rolled off the, uh, I guess if you rolled off the brand new uh, truck lot with it, that's probably what it would look like. So, yeah, Vladimir, it is a new guy. I've never heard of this guy. He just uh, reached out and said, "Hey, man, I, I got some stuff I'd love for you to take a look at, and see if it's you know worthy to put up on the stream." And you know, got it and looked at it. I like bundles. <laughs> He's got a good bundle on there with all four of them for like 35, which is pretty good. That's less than 10 bucks a trailer, which uh, these days in the pay world, in the pay payware world, man, that's uh, that, that's a that's a hot commodity, man, to get trailers like they look good for less than 10 bucks a pop. What's up, Sean? How are you, man? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Texas Chrome with the Chrome cap. <laughs> yeah, 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 it would probably be all the same amount of flashy Chrome. I think. I think you're right on that. It's JBX Chrome, yeah, I mean, yeah, to some extent, but it's still like, ATS's Chrome is getting pretty decent too, though. I mean, it's getting pretty shiny. <laughs> it took me a while to, like, what is no one you know? What is he talking about? It took me a while on that, man. Sorry. Slamming up for the Bahamas. What's up, man? Someone asked if I, uh, someone asked if, uh, if, if, if all I do is float gears. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have to push the clutch in anymore except when we stop. So, Gabriel, the Lufkins might come in the pack. You might not be able to buy it separate. You might basically get that one for free. I'm not exactly sure. It, it should be in the pack. It should be. Oh, it's no, yeah, no, it's not Vipers 2. Now, this one is uh, Pingus. Uh, Pingus 389. Husky, yeah, holy long frame. Yeah, I said we were building the longest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go. Ahead. So I've actually got the tuner mod on this thing, and um, uh, the tuner mod on this truck, and it's actually uh, a fairly, like I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, oh, that's pretty there, I like that. I always forget, man, Oregon's actually a really pretty DLC. Uh, no, nah, you can't open the hood on these. Uh, it is a food tanker one. Yes, it is food grade. Yep. I tell you what, man. I I, I won't. <laughs> now, I will say the advanced B trains, the one we did, I don't know, this has probably been like, I don't know, probably a couple months ago. Um, it had loads built into the gas stations, but I would love to see a legit fuel tanker that is like an actual fuel tanker that you can deliver loads to gas stations. Um, you know, whether you're going into the truck stops and fill it up, whether you, whatever you're doing, you know, I think that would be a really, really cool mod, interactive mod for the community. Cause I don't really know that we really have any fuel tanker mods, you know, that have the skins and stuff like that to go with. You know, a lot of those skins were done on um, ATS, at least for the default, you know, uh, trucks and stuff. They were done for those a long time ago, but it'd be cool to have one of those. <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right there, Husky. <laughs> uh, yes, Lime Enough, yeah. They've been, uh, it's been compatible for a while, yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes I, I hear that, that calf. Whoa! Some, oh, oh, hello. Sometimes I hear that, that same voice like through the headphone. <laughs> uh, where's my Mary Bros at? <laughs> you know, it's, it's weird, I, they, there was a game that was going to come out <clears throat> that was called... Um, uh, uh, Alaska truck simulator that that you know you had to get out and almost like hunt for your own food out in the Alaska bush you know uh, your truck would break down you know, they'd have to have it was really like an RPG style game you know <laughs> it's like the community like totally like no it's stupid to go have to eat it's stupid to have to drink water as a driver it's stupid to do these things you know and it's like the one thing that all the trucker guys want I just want to be able to get out of my truck. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know to do what, you know? I, like, I don't know. It's funny, man. It's funny. Oh, you haul dump. Oh, there, Christopher. All right, man. All right, well, let's let's get the uh, let's get the real deal, man. Tell me what you think. So we got the, the Mac dump is what we have out on uh, tap tonight. And I know it's a really, really long truck. You know, the truck, I think, is as long as the... Um, the dump trailer you know don't judge me on that we had to get views man we had to get views <laughs> yeah no lag with this one man i tell you what if i had lag with this one buddy it was somebody was going to lose their job <laughs> oh Yeah, I can't, uh, oh, let's get that axle down. Get that one down there. Yeah, 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 bear. Yeah, drop off at the fuel stops. Yeah, I think that would be cool, man. That'd be nice, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I don't know. Unless it was a note, I missed it. their fire skull on the twitch side of things truck wash man get out of here with the truck wash man y'all would use it whoa there we go that's what it's talking about it's actually kind of nice man Ow. yeah it would be slime but you know yeah truck wa truck wash is a complete waste of like resources at the time because for one to do that you got to get it dirty I don't know if anybody's gonna get their, their, their rigs dirty I think that's probably gonna be like a lot of like because you you have to do like destructive paint just like uh, farm sim does you know uh, if you guys play farm sim or have it they have get dirty type stuff so they have all the mud textures that get on your uh, trucks but then they have just like wear um, so they have spots around the edges of the doors and stuff that come off like whenever you're um, you know whatever I don't know whatever the heck you're doing driving it's got so many miles on it you know that you uh, basically would lose the paints around the edges of the doors around the handles all the wear and tear spots you know it's a little different uh, you know than, than it would be for SES I think it'd be totally different trying to add that level of uh, detail in it just to wash it and clean it up you know I don't know how that would actually work I think it'd be weird I, it, really for me like I don't care like there's so many more things man because you we got to understand like it's a community like I think all of these things would be really cool to have I think they would be novel I think they would probably after a couple of weeks it'd be like meh be like you know Colorado people are like oh my god it's the best DLC ever and then every convoy can we just go through Oregon for the love of God and it's like wait a minute come on like let's go to Colorado I haven't even bought it yet it's the best one but I haven't bought it so car washes be no better we'd complain about it we'd want it and then as soon as we got it, hey man you've been the car wash lately nah I just turned all that stuff off 
<laughs> so now my truck doesn't get dirty and I don't have to wash it. <laughs> so, so that, you know, that's just, I don't know, man. That's just kind of how I think we, we, we kind of play that as a community. Well, we play the wrong hand, I think, all the time. Because I think anything that's going to create a longevity to the game that we'll be enjoy, that we'll be able to enjoy for like, you know, weeks on weeks, like in months on months, I think is probably a worth a, a more worthwhile endeavor than just getting that one kind of thing that would be cool to have. Like getting out in the truck and stop and like taking a shower and washing your trucks and all that stuff. Like, nah, man. <laughs> Only reason half of us even play this game anymore is because the mods are gotten so good. Um, so then you think about just some of the structural things could make what we do even better. Yeah, that's where I always get. I'm like, let's let's go for structure of the game, the structure of the sim, and, and then we can talk about frilly stuff out, out on the backside. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Lawrence. Oh, I know, man. I know, man. But like I said, man, that was uh, that was that was one of those like uh, people always want me to do something you know, kind of funny, kind of like, you know, ridiculous, you know, never do it in real life. At least I don't, I don't think, at least I don't think that they would ever, uh, I don't think they would ever do this. I don't think so. Maybe they would. Maybe somebody out there would do. The truck shows with the wars. That's the thing though. You kind of already can. Except you can't have mods on MP, so. But oh, forgot, forgot the other, the other, uh, camera. Yeah, Mimi, I was going to go more clickbaitish with that mic. That's kind of where I was going with that, you know. Oh, my God, look how long his axle is. Hey, <laughs> you know, I don't like, don't mean to brag, you know. Oh, yeah, y'all were thinking it. Don't lie. Y'all were thinking it. Yeah, Alex, dude. It's great, man. As always, man. I, it's still got a weird release on the, you know, when it sucks the air back in. So it's like a... It's kind of weird, but it, it kind of it's kind of still fits. You know what I mean? But, like, just the, just the sound of the engine. I wish we kind of had... The only thing is, like, people ask me, like, uh, and I, some guy came in there and... Oh, that's <laughs> oh wow! Okay, yeah, we need to we need to bring it down a level, guys. Bring the temperature down a little. Uh, we had a guy come in and asked, uh, um, "Crap! Now you got me got, got me all got me all off." Uh, oh, look at this! I don't believe I've been here in a long time. Yeah, let's change subjects. Yeah, it would it would stink also to be driving this truck and have to go down this road. <laughs> oh yeah, drive shaft. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they'd be like, there with your gas pipe, there with your steps, there with your fenders. <laughs> They'd be gone. Peace, Saranara. I like his turbo. See that that sound right there. Like I, I know what it is. And, and maybe it's associated with the turbo. I'm not sure, but like someone else said it before. It's like I, I, I rev it up to 2,000 before a shift. And there's no rhyme or reason why I do that. I know typically your optimal is somewhere between 1,500 and 1,750. That's what the books say anyway. I don't really know. I'm just making numbers up off the top of my head. But at any rate, oh, nope. Oh, we just uh, we took out a bumper. I think we actually hit the collision. See, Pingo is one of those guys that actually puts a collision on his bumper at least like part of the way up. It's, you, you, you can only like you know you can only get away with this kind of driving for so long in this truck. <laughs> Look at these free range cattle out here, man. Go California. 
That one's for you, Dippo. Yeah, two thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So get back to what I was saying. Yeah, it's two thousand. But this one actually, I think the engine sounds really good from like eighteen to two. So and that's the only reason, like, that I actually, you know, I go that high because that's when the engine really, really, really gets that gargle to the back. You know, it's like, yeah, it's starting to sound good now. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's go ahead and let's pull her straight in, and then let's pick up food grade tank, and hopefully we can pick up her right here, and we'll uh, we'll head further a little bit a little bit further south if we can. It'd be great if we can. There is one thing that I do want to check just because for some they might like it for screenshots and I didn't do it earlier let me just see all right hang on just a second I am going to try something real quick here give you just a minute All right, so you can, okay, all right. Never mind. So we'll look at this last trailer. Okay, all right, okay, so never mind. All right, so we're gonna go with the polar here. I'll show you guys this now. This one doesn't have, um, definitely doesn't have as much as the other ones do. Still a really pretty, uh, still a really, really pretty trailer. Uh, it's kind of the shorter one. It's kind of more of your standardized. It's not like a, it doesn't really feel like a real custom trailer, you know. Uh, but it's single tank. Uh, you can do with two or you can go uh, with the three axle back. We put it in the three axle back just because I thought it looked beefier. Uh, but you can add this chrome piece on the top here for the flooring. If you like it, if you do, great. You can build it your way. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got the painted part there or you've got this, this I don't know if that's, a, if that's an overflow. If it gets up, I don't know if it's like a slosh. Like if it gets up here in the top, does it does it run out of that? I don't know. You food grade guys, y'all y'all tell me, because um, I really legitimately don't know, and I don't want to sit here and make it up as I run. Um, you've got the chrome uh, pieces here, chemical. If you want to do chemical stuff, uh, you've got a part for that. You've got fenders for. Oh, you got the nice custom individual ones, or you've got the long, uh, the long triple. We'll do the custom threes. Uh, a couple of light choices here in the back. So if you want to light reds, you can do yellows. We'll do yellows. Uh, you've got food grade, uh, food grade side, and also hot products. I'm not sure where the hot products is, and I'm not sure why the why the hole is so small. Yeah, I'm not sure about the hot product side, but the food grade side does that one actually does uh, that, that kind of rings a few bells there. Uh, how long? I think 34 feet is what he's got on there, but I'm not sure if that's actually what it is or not. It kind of looks like it might be. I mean, it looks longer than 34. I mean, I, I don't I don't think I'd go quite 48, you know, um, maybe 42, 44. I, I don't I don't know. I'm not sure because this this could be the description off one of the other trailers as well, because I think the other one is like 34. Um, but anyway. OK, and you got a couple options here on trailer lights. You can do splits or you can put them together, whichever one you want. You've got some um, also bumper action down here if you want to separate these out any. Um, you've got the chemical bumper, which someone said chemicals would keep that. And if you want to take off that part, you can. So now you got individual mud flaps and the bumper, which looks pretty cool. Um, so that is that one. So that's trailer number four out of the pack. So the polar uh, food grade or it looks like it can be chemical. Uh, side of things so we'll go ahead and add this one to it and we'll see if we can pick up something here at the um uh wherever we're at push now let's see maybe yeah there we go so as you take food stuff milk uh chemicals yeah okay what we got there? Two twenty-five down to Sonora. Okay, yeah, let's do that one. That's straight down, uh, straight down the five. The five through Sierra Nevada is really, really, really pretty. 
I would actually run the Interstate 5 and also that one that goes through like Reno and Winnemucca and Elko. Was that the 80-something? I would I would drive that one through Sierra Nevada all the time. It's such a pretty one, man. No problem, Dave. Well, thanks for coming in and hanging out with us, man. Glad you guys still want to still want to come to the fun, man. What's up, Brian? How are you, buddy? Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, Castle, how long is the stream? Uh, probably for another 15, 20 minutes. Um, I pick up this last trailer here, and this will be our fourth and uh, final load for the uh, for the good one. And, and by the way, man, if, if uh, one thing I've tried to do in all these, uh, if, I don't know if you've got friends or if you've got buddies that are like, yeah, these videos are too long. I just hate kind of thumbing through them, whatever. I just want a, a four-minute video because that's all my attention span can take. If that's like the case, um, what I'm trying to do is trying to alleviate and trying to help those guys out that don't have a lot of time. Not everybody's got two hours to sit there and watch a video. I get it. Um, you know, I poke fun, but seriously, I, I get it. Um, but if they, uh, what I'm trying to do, especially for these, is I'm going to go through and title each one of these and put a chapter in. So if they want to flip through and see these, they'll literally see where every timestamp for every single trailer is. So if that's something you guys want to, you know, if y'all share it out to anybody or send it off to a buddy or something, tell them. I know it's two, year, two, you know, two hours long, but hey, you can, he's got them all marked for chapters. You can go see what all of them are. And then I'll try. I just have a hard time. Like, I either have to record video or I have to stream. And I'd rather stream, to be honest with you. I hate recording video. I don't mind it uh, from the sense of I just hate trying to put it together with just the time allotment that I have. just don't have a ton of time to do recording and editing right now where I'm at, um, especially with all this COVID and the kids home. And oh, it's terrible, man. So anyway, thank you there, Cass. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> 13's the uh, speed I'm uh, running right now. Um, so he's got another one in the works, Alex. Um, I, I I haven't been sworn to secrecy, secrecy, but I'll I'll keep it to myself just because, and I may need to sneeze. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. <laughs> if the whole room was a green screen? Yeah, I don't know, man. It'd be a little weird. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I did some flooring the other day. Like this, he's got some uh, good lights there, man. Good LED lights on the back. Little turn signals there on the right corners. That's good. I like those kind of small details. I don't know, you know, when you when you pay for something, you know what I mean? Like it's it's gotta it better be good, you know. Better have some better have some features on it. If it doesn't, you know, what are you paying for? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my elbow. Yeah. Super spreader in my own room. <laughs> yeah, I did some flooring, man. I know all that sawdust and stuff. I, I'm sure all that stuff, man, it's just, uh, it was windy too. I was trying to cut that stuff outside so it'd blow it all down wind. You know, whichever way I tried to saw the, saw the boards, man. <laughs> it went back up in my face. Uh, 3080 Epic. I need to put my PC specs down at the bottom with the rest of my stuff. But uh, if you want to look at it, my last stream on um, my last stream on the YouTube page. If you go back to uh, my main one, go back to last night's. Was it last night's? Yeah. Uh, at the very end of that, um, I talk about it and uh, showcased it a little bit. I'm going to do a setup video here. Uh, I'm going to try to work on it this weekend. Um, I should have some time Sunday, hopefully. Um, I should anyway. We'll see. Uh, I should have some time to start doing some video footage, kind of walk through some of this stuff with you guys. Y'all been wanting that for so long. So now that I finally got the new PC, got the new monitors in, uh, I pretty much think I'm ready to rock and roll on it. So. 
Another side. While I was outside, I couldn't really use the vacuum cleaner to suck it up while I was actually cutting. Let's see, going left, going left. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Wow, man. Dang, bro. My goodness, man. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been hit that hard from a cop. Most of the time they stop. But that cop didn't. He said, no, nah, I believe I'll... Oh, this is heavy. Maybe that's because half of my truck's completely damaged. <laughs> Oh man. Wow. I thought it was in like Bad Max or something. <laughs> What's up, Sledge? <laughs> yeah, he pulled me over to check my logbooks. License and registration. I was about to ask you the same thing. All right, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it roll. Hang on, let's get to speed. Yeah, pretty much epic. Yeah, yeah, I believe that one probably did hurt anybody. Fair enough, man. We'll see you. <laughs> well, for the most part, I am. Jake brake's still on. I just get back into the gas fast enough that the Jake brake never ha never hits. I just went through all 13 though. I needed to. Uh, C15. So Robin Ikes has got one. Alex. Um, Robin Ikes has got one, and Creech Bombs uh, Sound Pack 3.4 has got a C15 in it. Either one. <laughs> Yeah, the moment you knew you messed up. I saw him coming and I was like, I don't know if he's going to stop. It's a nice cruise right there, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's the C15. It, it's, a, it's a good one, man. I, I, like, I like that 735. Oh, come on. Alpha film. Yeah. Woo.
You ever tried a dev console in drive? Expecting me to sing Asphalt Cowboy, it ain't happening, real. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm glad after three I can get a win, Mike. <laughs> I'm glad I can get a. I'm glad I can get a win. <laughs> oh man, I'm just kidding. That's pretty typical knowing you know. You know, that happens all the time. I I usually have a couple of those that usually wind wind up being like really bad. Oh this is like white. No no well that side looks white, but it's not. Oh it's just like the light side of it. Okay, cool. It's pretty. Okay, no lift axle on this one. The best nine hundred? Well, I don't have them all, Mason. Um, I only have um, Pinka's free one is nice for free, um, but uh, like with most thing, most things that are free, you have to wait till he updates it. And right now, he's waiting on um, sounds to be updated. Um, but to my knowledge, it's not updated for 139 yet. Um, but I mean, I have his and. Um, the only other one that I have is, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Texas Chrome. So I don't, you know, that was $50. It's a really, really good mod, but, uh, you know, it's good if that is like your thing, you know, if that's what you like. Uh, some people don't like the really slammed out, lowered custom kind of, you know, that, I mean, it's like Texas Custom. I mean, it's the Texas Chrome Shop kind of, it's the stuff they put on trucks all the time. So, you know, I don't know if that's your necessarily your thing, and the only other one that I know of besides some, some individual, like some kind of small Facebook sellers that are kind of breaking into the market is, is John Ruda's. John Ruda's truck is getting a huge update. Um, his Highway Killer for the 900 coming up. Um, so there's going to be some really, really legit stuff on that truck. So I'm hoping within any short kind of amount of time that I'm going to be able to get my hands on that. We'll be able to showcase it here on the, on the channel um, you know, fairly early. But... But it's, uh, you know, I mean, it, I don't know, man. I, I would say that would have to be at the top just because of the quality. Um, look at this. Love this, man. These, these interchanges coming up are so awesome. I'll keep it right here. Um, but between that, I mean, really, that one and, and, um, and the freebie from Pinka are really good just because of the price point the freebie. But also comes with its... Uh, you know, comes with the ability to have to sit there and have to wait on the, uh, the monitor to actually do something with it. So, the Texas Chrome is really good too if you like that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? I hate telling people which one to, to get, and then they're like, "Yeah, I don't like this one." I'm like, well, you asked. <laughs> Honestly, I have latched, and I don't. I don't really. I mean, I don't think it's that. Bad. I mean, I can't really tell a big, huge difference driving that mod versus driving any of the rest of them. Uh, I'll say that his mod, um, the Texas Custom mod, I think is probably worse than, um, I mean, it's a lot better than the Roland 389 mod. Roland 389 mod takes a lot of splatter resource to run. A lot. Uh, castle so this is just a just a polar uh, 
uh, the brand Polar. Uh, it can be chemical tank or it can be food grade uh, if you want to, you know, depending on what you want to haul in it. But yeah, it could be either or. <laughs> I mean, I honestly don't think it's that bad, but that's, uh, you know, that's my opinion. Yeah, the thing, I tell you, the thing that I would do uh, before you go and spend it is maybe hit up the Discord and see if anybody else has similar specs to what you have. And then if they have similar specs to what you have, then if they have that Texas Chrome, it might be interested to kind of figure out what they're, if they have to do anything, you know. I mean, that, that could be an open bag of, uh, you know. Yeah, just because someone else has your system doesn't mean that they actually do things the way, you know what I mean, like you would do them. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh yeah, I forgot about Big Bob's. I I, I haven't um I haven't tried that one. I, that one's been out for a long time. Pretty sure that one's been going for a while. Yeah, Epic. So um so now that I've actually look at those things again. So now that I've got um, the PC and the monitors and all that stuff done, I'm gonna include this. Uh, just in the entire set of videos. So I'm going to start working on that uh, this week. So, yeah, it's custom made, Ethan. I had a, a buddy of mine. Uh, he's a machinist. And so I've got a, it's a real uh, shift toppers, uh, all billet shift topper with the Kenworth glitter ball. Uh, but uh, he actually machined stuff out. And it's the real Eaton Fuller, uh, you know, air driven one. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's legit. It's going to be. truck sounds so good man back here just like in a cruise man it sounds so good what's up Ryan D yes sir we are man uh yeah 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 he made that too epic it's a 10 inch carbon fiber and all the electronics for all of the stuff is housed inside of that the carbon fiber tubing and then he um, machined an aluminum piece that basically just slides right over uh, my Fanatec shift, uh, my shift post. I'll, t I'll talk a little bit, kind of give you a little closer up look of it. Um, Y'all can see it when we do that set of video.
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Mike. <laughs> Fair enough on that one, man. <laughs> Ain't a problem, Red. What's your what's your truck, man? What's your what's your what's what you like, man? What's your what's your weapon of choice on the roads of California? Got some, you got some bicycle playing cards in that bag. Get you a, get you a twenty ounce bottle and stuff it in between your frame and your tire. <laughs> I'll get you fixed up. <laughs> uh, that's about the funniest thing I've seen all day. We're always going through the trees, man. When it's pitch black, you want to be. All right, 30 miles. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yes, it's got a, it's definitely, um, this one has much, much, uh, a much older school feel to it, more like a 379 more so than a, a 389. Um, so funny like and that's the way streaming is like i pretty much like every single truck except the one that you're driving right now <laughs> that's literally how it is you know what i pretty much like every peterbilt ever built except for the one you're driving <laughs> oh man <laughs> father of seven Woo. No. Gosh. I'm going to turn my bit right back. <laughs> Just this one. I don't mean. <laughs> well, yeah. No. It's all good, man. I don't take any of that personal. You know, I'd have a uh, if I, if I if I drove a um, you know if I drove a Kenworth uh, if I drove a Kenworth one one stream, you know, everyone comes in. It's like, hey, what's the next time you're gonna drive a Peterbilt? It's really my favorite. I really like a 379. <laughs> like, yeah, of course you did. Did you catch my last stream? No, I did. I missed that one. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's always the other one. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's, it's not. It's not lag. It's a uh, connection. I'm. I upped my. Um, I upped my bit rate quite a bit to, to do this. Um, kind of testing to see basically, you know, really where my where my limits were just in like being able to stream plus what my limits were on the other side of things like processing wise you know what the card was doing just general like specs of the machine and uh, i thought i'd settled i've actually got it a thousand more than it was so i, I used to have it at five thousand between there and 5500 then i bumped it up to almost seven but with my upload uh, it's not as fast as it is if it doesn't and it sinks below that you know i'm still seeing a perfect you know 60 plus on my end but you guys you know y'all kind of get shifted because of the bit rate, it's just not coming through fast enough, and it's an internet issue. Um, I was telling Chad earlier that I pretty much started that whenever we had our last bouts with uh, what we thought were YouTube. Turns out it was my internet, so um, that was the whole reason I did that, so I could see what I was actually streaming and see what my numbers actually look like. So, <laughs> what's up, Geek Squad? How are you, man? What's up, homeboy? Yeah, it's good, man. 
Uh, Difficult install. I mean, it's no different than anything else, although it is nine mods, but they're all numbered. So you just have to put in one through nine. Actually, I don't even know if there's nine anymore. It might be seven. There's just different parts, different like uh, accompanying mods. Like they've got a sound mod and they've got um, like a neon mode and, and a, uh, lights mode, like for um, bumper lights and accessory lights and all that kind of stuff. I think the truck itself comes in like two or three mods. But I mean, they give you directions, man. They're, and the directions are solid. I mean, it's kind of hard to screw it up. What's up, Scott? How are you, man? Hope you're doing good. One lonely mile. I'm doing deliverance on the side of the road. That's what it looks like. And it is getting dark, ain't it? Tommy Cream, what's up, man? <laughs> we can screw up scrambled eggs. Well, a lot of people can screw up scrambled eggs. You can totally mess that one up. I'm running it up the ramp. <laughs> Who's trailer? Austin. So this is in the in the description, buddy. Uh, this is a new guy called uh, Sartana, I believe. Sartana mods. Uh, so he's got uh, four, I believe. Or he's got three out individual for sale, and then if you buy the pack, you get a fourth one for for free, basically. But you essentially get you know get all the you know, trailers at a discounted rate. So I'm all about bundles, man. So. So I let people know, hey, check out the bundle, make sure you guys know about it. All right, there we go. That is all she wrote. Yeah. Yeah, James, I, 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 I think... You know, I, I would imagine that some of that comes down to where the sounds were sourced from. You know what I mean? Um, like if the sounds were sourced from, you know, oh, there it is. 
Um, you know, if the sounds were sourced from a totally different spot, you know, I, I, I would uh, I would tend to agree. And it might be that the fact that those um, – yeah, uh, that he just doesn't have that that particular sound just isn't isn't a part of, you know, the the main makeup of that mod. Um, you know, from sound depending on how it was recorded, um, and it might you know it might be stuff that editing just can't do. But I would agree with you. I wish there was some, you know, you could kind of mesh the two, or you could take some parts for this and like create the biggest one. But then again, that kind of zaps out your whole creativity. You know, from a modder's perspective of being able to you know, kind of create your own uh, entity of something, your own being of something. So um, it is what it is. So, <laughs> yeah, no no problem there, Reddit Gaming. That's fine, man. I don't, dude, I don't get bent out of shape about that. <laughs> it's all it's all good, man. Um, what's it got to download for the mods? Uh, well, you need to go pay for them first, and then he'll send them to you either email. Uh, but the cell file works all the same way you're talking about Pingas or anybody else's, so. <laughs> yeah no i know mike i know some things you just kind of like and i guess because the fact that it says food on it then it basically trigger word for all the other companies so um make a vid on how to use a truck what do you mean how to use a truck what would you mean by that <laughs> i don't know that it was that great i mean it was kind of funny it wasn't that great oh it was kind of funny Cloudy Jacks, it was good, man. Thank you there, Freightliner fan. Appreciate it, buddy. Would I get the Swift DLC? Well, I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, if it's a Swift DLC, then I mean, yeah, I guess. What? Uh, <laughs> sure, go have to, I guess. <laughs> like the controls, how to use the truck? Um, uh, I mean. <sighs> I guess. I mean, I'll put that on my list. I mean, I've got a list of videos that people request, and I kind of couple those and think what is going to be the most useful because my time is a little bit precious. Um, so I do think like what's going to be the what's going to be the video that more people are going to get use out of. Um, what would you know? What video they're going to enjoy the most? Um, you know, so some of those things, you know, I kind of look at it from a different perspective, but. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I will certainly put that one on the list. It's interesting. If I can figure out a way to kind of tie that in with some other things, I might be able to do that. And, and you may be able to – I mean, I actually may be able to – there might be stuff out there already. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe stuff out there already that, you know, you can check out. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got a whole other one over here. I, and I um, um, I guess under – I don't even know if uh, – let's see, is this one yet? I don't know why it's having a problem. There it goes. No, it won't do it. Never mind. Sorry. I was trying to think through that, and I was like, wait a minute. That's not going to work. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I'll, um, I'm will i planning on pulling another camera, too, I think. Um, I'm going to double-check that and see if that, like, is going to work. But I think I might be able to pull another one here um, and be able to pull another camera right off here that you'll be able to see the box a lot better and have it as a little bit smaller of an inset. Um, you know, especially on the second screen, maybe something that, yeah, I don't know. I'll try to figure out something, see what I can do. So, uh, yeah, Brian, they're good, man. Um, I, I like them. So, uh, I guess just kind of close this stream up here a little bit. We, uh, we had four today. So we had the Lufkin dump trailer, uh, which is the very first one East dump, uh, which is, um, uh, this is a really nice trailer. It's actually done really well. It's modeled really well. It's a really good model. Um, and then the, uh, this is probably one of my faves here with the Mac dump trailer. And then uh, the polar tank trailer, like I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm so like I told you guys, I'm waiting for a fuel trailer where you can actually take from refinery to fuel stops uh, in gas stations and stuff all across the map. Um, I think that would be a really, really, really cool mod if they could add all that in. <clears throat> I don't know how the um, you don't know if if you can add. I don't know if you can add company assignments into gas stops. You know, um, I'm not sure how that exactly works, but. Uh, at any race, uh, I think that would uh, that would actually be really, really, really good. So, uh, but at any rate, um, that's the four trailers we got here. So make sure you check that guy out on Facebook. Uh, he's got a Facebook group, and he also has a self five store. So keep even if you don't have the money right now, and you say, "Well, I might get it in a, in a week or two. Let me think on it. Throw it up there in your favorites, um, and that way you'll have it. And we'll be pulling some of these uh, from time to time, so you'll be able to see these uh, just uh, for just information going forward. Saturday tomorrow. Uh, we'll be doing our ATS convoy, so that'll be uh, all default trucks. But anyway, we've been having anywhere from 80 uh, to 100 guys, even on the Europe server. 
Um, so if you want to join us, please feel free to. I'll put all the information in the Discord. You can find that links in the description. Um, and uh, come join us tomorrow. I'll put everything in there, usually early, late morning. Uh, and I put all of like where we're starting, what cities we're in, what DLC you're going to need, what cities we're going to, point A to point B. Um, and then even have some stuff through Truckee Bot, I mean Truckee App, which is absolutely amazing for multiplayer convoys. Um, then we put everything through there, and that way you guys can have loads, carry an actual load, a full trailer, um, and go from point A to point B with everybody as, as a convoy tomorrow. So that's what's coming tomorrow. That's really cool. Uh, and then this week, uh, I've got a few more things planned and trying to finish up and trying to uh, get the editing and stuff, get a lot of that stuff done for the um, setup video. So now we got the PC, we got the monitors all set, everything else is pretty much kind of starting to come into frame. I feel like I'm finally starting to get like finished with it. I got a few other little like small things that I'm going to be doing as kind of like add ons later on, uh, but they're not really like a part of the quote unquote setup. So um, I'll showcase all of this stuff, tell you guys what I have, let hopefully, you know, answer some questions in the future and comments, I'm sure, which will be a lot. Uh, but at any rate, that's kind of what I've got planned for this week. And then as we get into next week, we're going to be doing some driving. Um, and I'm actually uh, working on trying to do a few new things. I've got a, I'm waiting on a few things to get here, um, but I've actually got a new, I'm going to be pulling in a new game. It's not new as in like, say, brand new, like it just came out, but it is not Farm Sim. Uh, but it is a driving racing game that I think will be fun. Uh, that would be able to do multiplayer with a lot of guys. And iRacing starts uh, in Daytona uh, Valentine's Day weekend on Sunday evening, um, 9 p.m. We should be out racing uh, in Daytona, hopefully with the rig and everything. It should be really, really, really good. So if you have not ever checked out an iRacing video, go down and check out on my main YouTube page, get down on the bottom. I've got a whole NASCAR series down there. It's really good stuff. And a couple of those actually won. So um, anyway, go check those out and then show up for that one. I'd love to have a huge crowd come show up for the Daytona one. Um, that's going to be legit. Um, um, I really enjoy that. You get to see a totally different side of me. Totally different side. I am like a totally different dude when I'm racing. Um, so at any rate, it's going to be, uh, it'll be, it'll be really, really, really good. So thank you guys. It's always great to see you, man, especially these guys. I feel like I got something in my eye just now, um, between sneezing and getting something in my eye. That's a great stream. Thanks to all these guys here in green, man. You guys are awesome. Thank y'all for y'all support. Um, all these guys with stars, but I think you put your mouse over them. It tells you how long they've been, um, sponsoring here, the channel, a lot of good guys here and guys in blue as well. Thank you for y'all's moderatorship. Of course, you don't really moderate now when it's a good stream, so it's uh, pretty cool. So thank you guys for being an awesome chat as well. So you guys have – no, I just got something in my eye, man. I am sleepy. i got to get up early in the morning again. On oh, Saturday, it sucks. All right. Anyway, I'm out. So you guys have a great one, and uh, I guess we'll see you here hopefully uh, tomorrow evening uh, for a little ATS convoy. So you guys take it easy. Thanks for a great, great, great stream, and I'll see you tomorrow night, guys. Peace. And just because I completely forgot to do this, I have to thank everybody because I didn't do this, and I always do that. I'm not going to forget tonight. Chris, thank you there for the 10. Cobra Gamer Creations, thank you there for your $50 Super Chat. Tom with two $7 Canadians in there. Appreciate it, man. Brian King as well with $10. Uh, SWC, thank you there for your sponsorship. Appreciate you, buddy, uh, as always. Highland Winter Wolf with another $50 Super Chat. Man, you guys are awesome. Thank you all. And Brian, uh, Beth Benoit, uh, thank you there for your $2 uh, tip there as well. So thank you guys.